Hey guys, welcome to today's live stream. Just let me know that the audio is all good and that you guys can see everything just fine. And then we'll get started. <laughs> oh cool, wow, we've already got three super chats in. Thanks guys. That's great. I'll just wait for the all clear before I babble on too much. All good. Thank you. Okay, so for those of you that are new to my channel, today's video is going to be about the Smart Art Box. So the Smart Art Box is a monthly subscription box with art supplies, and you don't know what art supplies you're getting until you get it. So that's what makes it really fun and exciting because you just never know what's going to be in the box. Um, Smart Art Box does send me the box for free every month, so that is why I give it away. Whatever I get for free, I give away as well. Um, and to qualify to get the giveaways today, just read the description in um, below this video to see how you can qualify. And that just helps me out with postage and packaging because it, it costs a lot of money to send this stuff to you guys. And I love getting free stuff, but I don't want to go out of pocket being able to send you guys these free stuff. So that's the whole point of the Super Chat um, during these streams and, and that's it. So don't feel like you need to put in a lot just like a dollar is perfectly fine because with a couple of you guys answering um it does make a difference and it helps me out okay so i have had a sneak peek in here now i do peek in the box before i do a live because i've seen that there have been some boxes that you cannot um do a demo of it in a stream for example there was a marbling box and the marbling box was something that You'd have to really set up the video space in that because it's really messy. So I have to sort of look in the box first. And today's box is going to be pretty cool. Something again that I've never tried before. So it's going to be exciting to see. Okay. So it does look like there's the video is at a bit of an angle. That's because my camera is at a bit of an angle. But... It's, you guys should still be able to see it all really well. So my lovely moderator, Maureen, she is going to take note of you guys um, with, during the super chat. So what happens is when you guys use the super chat, Maureen will give you a number. And then at the end of the stream, I will randomly, um, through app on the phone, live, I will randomly pick a number for the giveaway. There's going to be three giveaways today. So the first giveaway is the, the smart art box and the artwork that I create with it. Hopefully it's a good piece of artwork. So you guys get this box of mine. And then the second giveaway is um, one month free access to my student portal. And when you get access to the student portal, you immediately get access to free ebooks and my beginner's color pencil course which is worth $65 so you're getting quite a bit back from that and then the third giveaway is a pack of 10 prints I think that's what I said that I was going to do as the giveaways today um, yes a pack of 10 postcard size prints and what I like to do with my postcard prints is I don't put anything at the back so that you guys can use it if you want to give it to somebody as a gift or write a nice note on it or something like that so it's not covered with text or anything like that. Just a pretty picture in the front. <laughs> um, Okie dokie, if you have any questions, um, Maureen will, about the about entering things like that, Maureen will help you out. Um, if you absolutely cannot enter um, and you really want to, just let us know in the super chat and one of us will vouch for you and put an entry in for you. Okay, so don't be shy. We, we want everybody to participate. <laughs> Yeah, Jamie, don't do that again. Um, and then make sure before you do the super chat, make sure the amount that you put in there. We had one of the subscribers, she intended on putting a dollar in, but she ended up putting $100 in. So just be careful, okay? Just be careful. <laughs> Okie dokie. And then also, if you do have questions directed at me, please make sure that you... Um, Put it in capital letters so that I can see it properly. Or, or, or that I can see it clearly. So I will be pretty focused on this, especially because I'm using supplies that I've never used before. So I want to make sure that um, 
I will, I'll be pretty focused at this, so if you have questions, make sure it's nice and bold and I can see it. Okay, radio. So, let's open the box. So, this box is very light. So, it's not very heavy things in here. Let me just put my tea over there. And... I think we can immediately see what this box is about. Either it's watercolors or it's inks. And I would say because of the extreme vibrant colors, it's inks. So that's what it is. And that's what I thought it would be when I opened this. So um, when you open the smart art box, usually what they have is they have a little pamphlet. And then in the pamphlet, they tell you a little bit of uh, a history or if they... Um, if there's a particular artist or something, then they'll give a bit of a description of the artist and why they use these particular tools. Um, so that just tells you a bit about it. It gives you project pointers on how to use it. It tells you about the tools in the box. And then at the back, it gives you instructions on what to do with them. Now, I have not read this and I probably should have, but let's just get a quick idea of what we're dealing with. Actually, let's. Let's, let's just look. let's look. Okay, so we have Claro Extender. I have no idea what that is. So the Panata Claro Extender, one ounce bottle. Mixing the solution with Jacquard Panata colors shows slows drying time and increases transparency without diluting color strength. Ooh. So when dropped or brushed on top of the Panada colors, Claro Extender creates marble-like texture and dries to a slightly less shiny finish, just like real stone. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so much cool. So much fun, so much cool. <laughs> so, okay, so we just, we're just gonna drop this, drop this on top of the, the ink colors, I think. Okay, so that's that one. And then this one, cleanup solution. Okay, so the cleanup solution, formulated especially for use with the Jacquard Panada colors. The solution contains moisturizers that keep brushes and sponges soft and pliable. First, use regular rubbing alcohol to clean off most of the color, then, follow with cleanup solution for the final rinse. How nice is it that they added that in there? That's great. That's great. Okay, then we have a brush. A number two full bit. Oh my gosh, this brush feels so soft. It looks like it's such a hard brush, but it actually, oh, it feels beautiful. It feels really, really soft. Okay, let's see. What's the brush made out of? Princeton series 6500 Aspen brushes full bit size two. Equally well suited for plain air and studio settings. Uh, Princeton Aspen brush combined performance, practicality, and style. Unlike natural bristle, however, the brush hairs stay together regardless of the painting surface or the degree of pressure applied. Acrylics, oils, and water-soluble oils release and glide evenly off these brush hairs. Uh, every Aspen brush has an elegantly polished black handle made from restored uh, reforested wood and a matte black ferrule that eliminates light reflection when painting on site. Huh. Looks like a lot of thought went into the making of these brushes. <laughs> okay, and then we have an illustrator, an illustration marker with two ends by the looks of it. Uh, okay, a, a fat end and a flat end. But it's clear. Okay, let's read about the marker. It's a blender marker. So Art Alternatives illustration markers combine vibrant, easy flowing alcohol based inks with dual nibs, making them ideal for coloring on canvas, paper, artboard, and many other surfaces. These markers are quick drying, non smearing, and feature both a brush and chisel nib for easy filling and precise coloring. So, okay, it's a blender marker, so I guess we'll just use them like you use normal blender markers and blend the inks. 
we'll probably have to look at the instructions we have at the back. Okay, so we have chili pepper, sun bright yellow, and beja blue. Cool. So those are the ink colors. And then we have a little pad of Yupo translucent paper. Oh, translucent. Oh, look at that. That's, that's going to look cool. I wonder what it'll look like at the back if it's going to... We've got a dual side painting. Cool. So, Yupo pa I know Yupo paper is usually made out of plastic. So, this one says, Yupo translucent watercolor paper pad 5 by 7. This translucent th synthetic paper made of 100% polypropylene offers a unique alternative to traditional art papers. The translucent sheets allow for special layered effects and tracing. Waterproof and stain resistant, it is exceptionally strong, durable and will not buckle or tear. As a watercolor paper, it has the advantage of being non-absorbent so colors lie on top of its surface, producing brilliant, vibrant effects. Yupo requires no soaking, stretching or tapping flat. Best of all, it allows you to wipe off unwanted sections of your painting and start again with a fresh surface. Oh cool! So if I don't like something I'm doing, then I can just start again. Which seems to happen when I do these art boxes. Okay, so let's put this big box away. And my a nice messy dirty table so I I think I want to try a couple of these we want to do more than one we want to see what we can do with this stuff but I don't know if I want to get ink on here so let me get a sheet of paper that we can waste Waste you? Yes. Okay. So what I think I are these water based? I didn't read. I'm guessing they are. Did I did I read that they're water based? I'm not sure. Okay, let's just read. Color saturated, acid free, transparent inks. They have an alcohol base, which makes them indeliable, indel, indelible, and moisture resistant when dry, and allows you to use them on almost any surface as long as it's clean and oil free. Highly versatile. So, if they are not water-based, then I'm guessing I cannot spray water. What will happen if I spray water on non-water-based inks? This is how much of an ink novice I am. I don't know what to really do with inks. But, what I think I want to do is I want to have a little palette here to drop these inks into. And... Yes, let me go get a little palette. have any questions J 
Jody says you can spray straight alcohol onto the inks. Okay. Let me, I think I have alcohol. I think I have alcohol. Oh, there's something still in the box? How did I miss something? Ah, oh, there is two. Okay, so we have a little marker pen, 0.5 permanent marker pen oh my gosh I don't want to miss something in the box okay right bear with me for one momento so that I can go and get some alcohol spray because we we want to try everything so I will be right back Check it out, how convenient is that? I have a little bottle. Oh. Sorry for all the banging and everything, like, if you guys had to see how much space I'm dealing with, I'm literally crammed into a little, a tiny little, teeny, teeny, teeny space. And, <laughs> I'm trying to get my green screen to fit. There we go. Okay. Cool. I think we're ready. <laughs> so thank you, Jody, for pointing that out. So got the alcohol. Thank you, Luella, for pointing out that I missed something in the box. Oh, I'm glad Maureen actually pointed that out. So Maureen says that the upcoming auction is going to be awesome. So I have a crap load of art supplies that I either haven't used at all or that I've only used about once or twice. And I, um, I need to clear out my studio space. And um, so what I've decided to do is that I'm making up little kits to say... Uh, not really a kit but like more than one thing so an artwork of mine it will be either an original or print plus three to eight other art supplies and there'll be full kits of stuff and i'm just going to auction them off and if you want to know about that make sure to subscribe to my mailing list so i'm just going to auction them off on facebook and i'm just going to do it in one day over seven hours and just get it out i just need to get it out of my studio and make some space for myself um, and start working with things that I know I use the most and get rid of the stuff that I'm not using much So that's gonna happen. So if you want to know about things like that, make sure to subscribe to my mailing list If you want to know Oh, and then also on When am I doing the 30th of March for those in the US and the 31st of March for those in Australia uh, I'm doing the pan pastel demonstration and I'm doing six giveaways. I'm doing a kit, a whole set of 20 pan pastels as the first giveaway, 10 pan pastels as the second giveaway, and then a bunch of other giveaways on that day. So also if you want to know about that, subscribe to my mailing list so that you get an email half an hour before I start any live stream and you guys can participate and try and get some pan pastels. So that'll be pretty epic. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is talk less and do more. So let's use the sun bright yellow. Ugh. Am I supposed to shake them first? <laughs> Yay, 
Jamie got her prints. <laughs> okay, I guess that's that's the color. They stink. They do not smell very good. It's a, I like water soluble things, not oil. Because of the smell. So badge of blue. I'm guessing a little bit goes a long way and we'll probably just drop some straight onto the paper anyways. The chili pepper. These, these are some intense colors. They're very bright. And then the extender. Plus I'll still be dropping some of this stuff straight out of the bottle. So we've got a little, little palette there of inks. Let's put it there. And I've got two sheets, which I've already dirtied. Over here. Oh, and then we've got some alcohol. Which we'll just spray, I think. Okay, so let's let's do things the semi untidy way. We're just gonna experiment with this one first. Can you guys can you guys see that alright? You know, I'm, I'm not even going to fiddle because the last time I fiddled, it just ended up worse, way worse. Just trying to get more light there, like that. Okay. So, what actually, what do the freaking instructions say? <laughs> that might be worth reading. So it looks like they just drop, they just drop it all over the place. Use the blender marker to pull the colors and create more controlled blending effects. Okay. Cool. Let's win it. So let's, let's drop some. Oh, that looks so pretty. Look at it go. Ooh, ooh. Add some yellow. Oh my gosh, I can see this being super addictive. Let's spray alcohol and see what happens. This is a, not a very nice nozzle. Are you even gonna spray? Oh! How cool is that? I, I, I need to zoom into this shit. So that, that was fun to see how the alcohol just separated. Hmm. That looks cool. I wonder if we can. Okay, what happens if we spray an area with alcohol first? And then, <coughs> then add some. Oh, that was boring. So I was hoping the alcohol would like make it spread. But it doesn't quite. That, that still looks pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. Okay. Let, now let's try this color extender. See what happens. Hmm. Slow down. Oh, that's cool. So it just, it just spreads it. Let me see, let me, let me turn it this way. Okay, now, let's see if we can move some of this a bit more. Do we see anything? 
something here? Maybe we can draw something. If it's making a certain pattern, we can we can draw it. Does it look like anything? Okay, so we can extend it with a brush. I need to see if we can see anything cool. Okay, cleaning solution. Let's say I want to clean my brush now. Would I be able to clean it? And just wipe it off on a paper towel. Okay, those lips just turn spaz. Can you see that I'm like trying to do a profile of a face here? But then maybe we can do something funky. Here. Um, the ear would still be there. Okay. Uh, let's use some of the extender and the red. It'd be cool if I could just lift. Oh yeah. Oh dear. It's really spreading. That looks pretty cool though. How cool is that? So like a profile of a face. Maybe we'll leave it like that and then when it's dry, we'll use the marker and and put some designs on there. I think that would be cool. Okay, questions. <laughs> unicorn with the long mane. Okay, I can see that. <laughs> so this this is the unicorn with the long mane. I I was sort of not even looking at it. So I was seeing the profile of a face, and I guess its whole scalp is open. <laughs> okay, cool. That was fun. So that that was the first one. Let's do another one. This way. So I'm, I'm pretty. Those colors are super vibrant. Now, what else could we do? Let's, let's spray it again. I can't see. See, I think I'm trying to treat it like watercolor, but that's that's not how it works. I shouldn't treat it like watercolor. She's a boy. No. No. That that's not exciting at all. Not even in the least. Okay. We 
let's just drop drop some more um, make some green Ooh. Sorry, I'm not even keeping that on screen. There we go. I don't know what I'm doing, but let's just see what happens. Let's add a bit of the extender. It's got overboard. <laughs> some pretty nifty colors just with these guys okay now let's see what happens with the brush um, just extend let's just extend the ends This paper feels a bit like the vellum. Vellum paper. So, let's see if we can lift some areas off. Oh, let's do that. Let's see what happens when we take a piece of tissue. Uh, maybe we can create some cool patterns. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Come on, stay. I want those patterns to stay. That, that's nifty. It's very reflective, but that actually looks pretty cool. So we'll leave that to dry. How long? How long does it take this to dry? Look, I think the extender makes it take longer. So it it extends the time. We still want to try our our brush that that's not going to work, is it? I guess we need to try something else. Or I need to go get a hairdryer.
<laughs> yeah, I'm glad to see you guys are super creative <laughs> in your way of thinking. <laughs> Clean this brush. Okay, so we've got like a red and yellow one. We've got more of a greenish one there. So let's let's go make a blue and purple one. I think. Just so we have you know variety. And whoever wins this box, I'm sorry for using all the paper. <laughs> I might, I'll, I'll stick a little sketch pad in there. <laughs> okay. So there's another one. Oh, and I forgot to mention, and it's not your fault if you're doing this, but um, I want to limit maximum of five entries per person um, just to make it a little bit easier for Maureen because otherwise there's just too many entries that are just one 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 <laughs> and it just makes it a little harder for Maureen so maximum five entries each please um, okay so let's let's go maybe we want to Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try and let's see. I'm gonna draw something. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but let's try it. And then, so we have an outline, and then we can just sort of. Carry on with it from there. Make it pretty. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's try and keep it in. Well, that didn't quite work out. It's supposed to be a hand. I, I can see another a horse. Can you see it? Let, let's turn this one into a unicorn as well. Since unicorns seem to be the theme of the day. So this one can be a this can be a rhino. A ry rhino corn. <laughs> cool, check that out. We we've created a new creature. Let's make it a tricorn.
Cool. I like that. Uh, yeah. No, 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 you're supposed to go the other way. That's so cool. Look at that guy. Cool. This is so much fun. Just seeing the colors go and you, you've got no control. You just have to let it flow. Let it happen. Ah. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to go grab my hair dryer. I don't have a, a art heat gun thing. So I'm just gonna go grab the dryer and use the cool setting and then see if we can dry these guys so that we can play with these markers. Okay, so let's zoom out and see what we've got so far. Uh, thus far, and we've got these three. Let's swap this one because we don't want you to kiss that tricorn's bum. There we go. <gasps> we could we could make another profile out of this one. This could be kissing buddies. What does it look like at the back? I don't think it'll move. Oh, cool. Look at the back. Not quite as cool, but. I mean, pretty cool. You could. Ah. Okay, I'm, I'm going to pause the stream real quick. And I'm just going to go grab my hair dryer. I will be right back. If you're going to see the buffering on the screen, it's just because I've paused the stream. And we'll try and be as quick as I can. Okay. This is going to be noisy and I suppose I should hold it down. Cool setting. Mostly dry. Now that blender marker actually. Surely you you're not supposed to use it while the inks are still wet, are you? Let's 
Let's see what happens. Let's say. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Let, let's see what else we can do with each piece now. So this one, that looks like these two could be kissing profiles, doesn't it? Although if that's the nose, that's a pretty big freaking nostril. But let's, let's make it the nose. Let's see if we can make it an eye. It can be a real abstracty sort of one. This is art. Art does not have to be perfect. It just has to be something other than a blank piece of paper. <laughs> Let, let's give you a, a big ear as well. Now, these markers are just going to be one big mess. I don't know if it's so much blending than it is. How do you clean it? You just keep wiping it off. I guess you just keep wiping it. <laughs> There's so much reflection. Sorry. Try and get that reflection not so reflective. Just make my face very reflective. Okay. Cool. Um, oh, let's add some more spots. So it's supposed to blend, but it, it doesn't. It doesn't blend. It just moves, moves it. But maybe it's too wet still. I just got a, a bun. Let's give you a hair tie. <laughs> and then I'd like to blend this area in because that just doesn't look quite right if it's open like that. Oh well, that is my idea of abstract art. <laughs> okay, um, let's see what we can do with you. What can we do with the red one? This needs to clean. I don't know if I'm doing this right. guys I reached 15k subs today <laughs> thank you so much So it seems to clean this, you just have to keep rubbing it off. And eventually it will be clean. So the nib, so it's supposed to be a brush pen, so it's just going to get softer and softer and softer as you use it. Can you see that? It's like parting, like a brush. Now I quite like this red one as it is. I don't know if I want to do anything with the marker. Um, you know what would be cool? Let's turn this into like a tree maybe. So let's make this the roots.
you know, because that's what roots look like. call this marker more of an extender marker because you're picking up the color and you're just moving it. Okay, and then let's extend it upwards. And create some branches. That that looks funky. Now oh, you can't see. Yeah, just extend it. That's cool. I think it needs to dry a smidge more before we can try the pen. So just let it let it go a bit more. What can we do with this guy? I like it just as is. I don't think I want to change it. I think I like it. So this one is pretty dry. Let's see how we go with the pen here. So we've got the Microperm, the Secura Microperm Ultrafine 0.5 Permanent Marker. Fine line like that. Okay, so one, we'll probably, you guys can enter maybe, let's give another 10 minutes. So it's 1125 or 1126 here. Uh, so 20 minutes from whatever the time is by you. 20, uh, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So 35 past, 35 past. Okay, let's... Um, Let's do mandala. Sort of thing. And then go over it. Just something quick. According to the instructions, you should be able to draw this on the top. So let's say over here, or oh, let's get there. You, you don't see them as curly as the others. Flower is sort of going to go in there. Oh yeah, 
Look how easy it is to draw over that. That's pretty cool. Just make one come over here. So all these things work really well together. In terms of like spreading it apart with the alcohol, it didn't work as great as what I would have liked. Not like it does with like India inks and stuff. From the little bit that I've tried it anyways. Um, this would be such a great thing to use for cards I think, making cards. So what I want to add a bit of color here, so let's just add like a drop of the red. Maybe even a bit there. And a bit of blue. the extender. Let's move it around a little. And I went. Oh, okay, so this, if you do this, it's going to lift that. Whatever we did with the marker, it's going to lift it off. Very messy. Okay, let's use a. Cool. What is that nice messy little? No, I lifted more than I wanted to lift up there. So these are almost dry. So this, they obviously dry very quickly. I guess because alcohol dries really quickly, alcohol inks will dry really quickly. So it sort of makes sense. Ah, this bottle's horrible. It just drips. It stinks. Okay. I, I'm going to turn it into a big mess if I go any more than that. So that's that one. That's pretty cool. Now let's use, continue to use our little pen to, let's, let's draw in these pretty cool branches. And I want a nice clean background. this one okay well here's a test because apparently you can just wipe it off of this paper not with water Sheldon you idiots with alcohol Mostly 
clean it off. I use more alcohol, I could probably clean it properly. I think I'll leave it at that before I ruin it. That looks pretty funky. What? How is it still rubbing off? Okay, and then this one. It's a weird, weird one. Let's. Gosh, I hope I'm not getting ink on my I just got a goatee. with today's art box. I think it looks great. Okay. Less, less reflecting light. There you go. How's that? That's better. Cool. 
so that was the odd box. We got the uh, inks and the cleanup solution and the, I think we used everything. We used the blender. I don't know about the blender. I think we, you guys have to play with that a bit more. I only used the one end to create these like little circles. But let's use the fat end. Because it's supposed to blend. To clean it, you just have to continue to do that until it's clean. It's a little bit painful. So Marine says we're up to about $25, which is pretty good. So usually the last box that I sent cost me uh, $38 uh, Australian dollars. So it would be um, cheaper if you convert it to US. Cheaper for those in the US. So that's how much it costs roughly. So thank you guys. At least you covered most of it, which helps me out. And I'm not going to go out of pocket too much. So let's pick the winners of the giveaways. Uh, I just, actually, I'll give Maureen a minute. So, um, that's it. Uh, the time is up. So, no more entries, please. And then Maureen's just going to give me the final count. And then we can do the giveaways. <laughs> this was so much fun because there's no way of knowing what the outcome is going to be. So it does make it pretty exciting. And the colors, I love the colors. The vibrancy of the colors really do stay. It's not like watercolors when they dry, they sort of dull down a bit. And this paper is, this paper is really nice. Oh look, we can, we can put them behind each other. <laughs> you could, you could probably actually find a nice pattern of some kind and Put it behind it because it's translucent. Okay, one to fifty-four. Right here. So the first giveaway is going to be the art box plus these little three artworks that I created um, from it, and I'm going to throw in a little um, a little sketchbook. And just to sort of compensate for the extra paper that I use. And I'll throw this in as well. I'll put that in as well. For whoever gets it. Okie dokie. Uh, I need my phone. So, randomizer, no, I don't remember. So, this is the app. So, I go minimum 1, maximum 54. <laughs> um, 1, maximum 54, done. Save. And then the first winner is, this is for the art box, number 30. Let me scroll, maybe I can find it real quick. Into the chat, apparently. So I'll wait for Maureen. 
Number 30. Yes, big mug. I know it's such a nice mug, isn't it? I just have some nice tea in it. With uh, chamomile, dandelion roots, ginger, and something else. Very refreshing. Glenn Kruger. Congratulations, Glenn. So, Glenn is one of my students. Oh, and in saying that, you may have noticed that in the beginning of the chat, a couple of people before th this even started were assigned numbers. So, my $15 subscribers, um, part of their subscription is they automatically get entered into every single giveaway that I do. So, that's why they were there already, just for those that were curious about that. Um, Okie dokie. So, congratulations, Glenn. You win the art box. So... Let me write that on the art box. Glenn Kruger. So I don't think Glenn is here today. But he's been a student of mine for a while. So yay! <laughs> okay, so the next one, which is going to win free access, a whole month free access to the student portal. If you are an existing student and you win it, then I will just give you free access so you don't have to pay for a month. Okay, but I'll talk to you about it if you are a student. Okay, so, and then also in the student portal, for those that don't know, there are more than 200 tutorials on there. And I think I've got like three or 400 hours worth of tutorial content for you guys to watch on how to draw things and a couple of like artist hangouts and all sorts of things are on there. You also get a couple of ebooks and you get my Udemy um, beginners colored pencil course you get for free as well. So you get you're getting a lot out of it. Um, so that's what's in the student portal. So the next one is fifty four. Is that the last one? Who is fifty four? Barb! Bob Palmer! Yay! Okay, so Bob is already a student of mine. My students are just being lucky today. Um, so I will just give Bob free access for a month. And then the next one is a pack of 10 postcard size prints. Nothing at the back of the prints, so you guys can give it away as a, um, a nice little card or something. So there's no like sort of text or anything on it. And I'm going to give you a pack of 10 of them. So that one is going to number 43. So let me just write down that Barb needs the portal for free. Forty-three. Sandra Peterson, congratulations, Sandra. Oh, Sandra, I think you have a couple of my prints already. I'm gonna have to. I guess she's just gonna end up having a few more. <laughs> it makes my giveaways not seem so exciting. <laughs> but well done, Sandra. So, Sandra Peterson. On the prints. Great! Thanks guys so much for tuning in. So I'm having an art supply auction where I'm going to auction off pretty much all of the extra art supplies that I have. Most of it is brand new and some of them have only been used once or twice. So if you want to know about that, make sure you sign up, to subscribe to my mailing list, which is on my website, shaldinefineart.com. And then um, on, you want to tune in on the 30th of March, Eastern Standard Time. I'm doing a pan pastel demo and a massive giveaway. It's going to be insane. There's going to be six giveaways. Um, the main prize in that giveaway is a pack of 20 um, pan pastels and soft applicator tools and a print and instructions on how to do the entire tutorial that I'm going to be demoing. So you're going to get a lot out of that. And second prize is also pan pastels except it's a pack of 10 and then we've got a couple of other prizes there as well. So make sure you don't miss out on that one. 
So thank you so much for tuning in again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.